Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG where I'm about to fight a boss that's really easy but I died to twice against due to extreme stupidity. So uh, basically, Delahan coming up here is extremely cheesable. Like, let's be honest here, half the other bosses in the game. And... But I don't mind using cheese strats a lot of the time because let's be honest here this is like 80% preparation for the Brave New World run anyway <laughs> so also it's kind of funny to see how just how far this game can be broken even while blindfolded I'm, I'm not using Vanish Doom or anything that's ridiculous but and I didn't grind up Traveler for Atma Weapon that would have been pretty broken as well even evil as standards I guess that's probably a random, yeah. Pain in the butt. Especially if someone gets zombified again. But this time, I know how to deal with it, because... Alright, four people escaped. This time I know how to deal with it, because I put Revivifies into a sensible spot in my inventory, so... Alright, Delahan. His opening move is level 5... I mean, level 5. Level Question Pearl, which does damage based on my last digit of my guild total. Which happens to be 5, which is probably why I got that confused earlier. And that doesn't matter because all my characters have are level 6, so only 6 or 3 would be dangerous. And the rest of his attacks do equally nothing. He's got Reflect Question, 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 which does no damage. And he's got a bunch of spells that can be reflected. Until his second phase, that is. When he gets more dangerous. Of course, his second phase is triggered by hitting him eight times, which I'm not going to do, so... Yes, I'm going to just use the fast forward command to make this a little bit faster. I don't want to do this a whole ton, but for this boss it works out kind of nicely. Same with IAF. So I just gotta listen until I stop hearing every two seconds. And... That's when he's about to... Alright, so I'm not hearing anything now. Let's hope I'm still alive. Yep, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> Celeste oh so conveniently used up all her MP against uh, the presenter earlier. Which just makes this boss a little bit easier. How nice. Left one all the way up. Because otherwise, well, I guess I could just throw out a Doom spell at the start of this fight. As long as she's not the first person hit by que level question, I mean, reflect, question, question, question. Oh, uh, what? How on earth? Oh, wait. Alright, one left. One right. Yeah, forgot a line of dialogue there, I think. Alright, now I just hold left and mash A. So yeah, not a whole lot to say here because I'm not really doing anything. But I still have to exist because I can't just wander off because I still gotta mash the dialogue. So yeah, I guess, I mean, I could have waited out that last boss without fast forward. It wouldn't have taken ridiculously long. Not like IAF would have taken, but I don't think it would have been worth it. Let's be honest here. And so we've made it to the airship. A pretty important moment in the game. Especially since now I have my uh, wings so that I can not have to go into menus blindfolded as much anymore. It'll probably still happen once or twice in the future, but it won't be all over the place, that's for sure. This goes on for quite a while, and I don't know exactly where it's timed to stop, so I don't know how much is left, really. One year later, the wreck of the Falcon was found in a distant valley.
So yeah, I can... I'll be on the airship once the airship music starts up, obviously. So, I, that's when I can take the blindfold off. Here we go. I have now acquired the Falcon, and we are ready to really begin the second half of this game, where it becomes significantly more open-ended. I have a lot of options now on what I can do, so I gotta pick and choose carefully. However, the first goal is most certainly going to be finding all the enemies that can appear on the belt that will give me a rage that can use step mine. That's three of them. One of them's the Fafnir. He's just an enemy running around to the area north of Elbrook, so that's not too bad. The other one's in Umaro's cave, which will be a little bit worse to get to, and hopefully I'll be able to take on Umaro before going back and getting Traveler. I probably should be able to, some way or another. Especially if I can acquire a snow muffler, but I don't know if that's going to be in the cards first thing. That'll save me a trip back through uh, Umaro's cave later to kill Umaro. I'd much prefer to do it that way. And I forget where the last one is. That's just wonderful. So, let's land in this random spot, closing my eyes just for the uh, matter of principle, I guess. That's not right. There we go. That's it. Segment over.